Data? What's that? Data? I love data. My teacher, she always uses data. She's a data and data teacher. She loves using data. You can know how well you're doing in school. What is data? Hmm. <gasps> you know what data is? Data is something that shows you how good or bad you did on the test. For the next time, when you take the test again in the middle of the year, you could do better because you learn from your mistakes and you can finally tell your parents how you did. That is data. I felt very good about my data because my data was at about the, was at the typical, almost at the typical growth line. And my teacher said, my teacher, Ms. KB, said that I would most likely reach my stretch growth goal by the end of the year and I felt really good about that data because I can know how I'm doing in class and and know what I have to need to improve on so yeah that's what I like about data and um it's also fun looking through your data because you can know what like stuff you need to work on at home and that's what I like about data. You wanna know what a data chat is? A data chat is a conversation that you that you have with your teacher when you're done taking an iReady diagnostic. She tells you how good you did, and then if you feel like you didn't do as good, you can always retake it again and learn from your mistakes. That is a data chat. Your biggest question right now is probably, what's data? What is data? Data is your progress. Data is all the things that you've done this year, basically your math, your reading, that's what data is. When I went to the back table to talk to my teacher about data, honestly, I didn't feel too good about it. Either way, if it was high or low, I'm pretty sure my parents would have always expected me to do higher or I just expect myself to push myself higher. But when I talked to my teacher about it, I felt good about my data. Data is progress. Yeah. Okay, so goals are something that you set, and you could say, like, I want to read two books before the school school year ends. So, and that, help, that helps me. It motivates like, a lot of other kids to do something. It helps you get into better college, and it helps you just to, like, motivate yourself into doing stuff a little faster. Like, just last year, I put a goal that I was going to read three books, and I thought I couldn't do it, but then I did it a couple of days before the school ended. And so that's what I like about goals, because it helps you motivate yourself to do stuff. Hey, my name is Joshua, and I'm here to talk about goals. And my goals are to try and be better at games, but mostly be better at writing, thinking, spelling. And I think you should do goals too. Goals are some that we're trying to achieve, so you should do goals. My name is Stella, and my goal is to get better at math every single day by practicing and practicing. My goal this year is to get better at math. To be better at organizing. My goal is to read fluently. One of my goals is to finish a book series I've been reading. I really like it so far. One of my goals is to read the entire 400 page tomorrow code book. <laughs> Goals are something that you achieve when you really want it. For example, my goal is trying to read this whole book because this whole year I haven't finished a single book yet, but I feel like I'm gonna get there. It's to read 50 pages of a book each day. My goal is to get better at my handwriting. My goal is to finish a whole book series. Hi guys, my goal is to finish three more iReady lessons so that I can be on the chart and climb the iReady mountain. Important part about data is growth. 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 Pretty sure it's growth. 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 Um, being able to learn and grow and reach your goals. Ask me about my data!
my goal is to finish one book without any pictures in it. I finished one book and my dad is really hungry. I'm trying to read this whole book because this whole year I haven't finished a single book yet. Well, I feel like I'm gonna get it.